Ah! Got a bit of turning action in here now, eh? Whoa! Oh, Jesus, get out of here, girl! Don't even start with me! Do not... Now we're going back. We, we, ain't, we ain't playing your games, girl! Yeah, we can't go back! We've got to follow the creepy girl! Welcome back to another game. Today we're playing another horror game called The Hospital and I'm not looking forward to this one as I am absolutely petrified of hospitals because they are scary places, lots of dead people, lots of people with arms hanging off and I don't like it. So, let's see what it's all about. Let's have it! Best experience with headphones. Adjust the brightness using the bar above. Uh, that'll do. Let's go. Oh, yes. We are in a hospital bed. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who only got mild symptoms and recovered quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There were no vacant rooms in a hospital across the country, as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's a pandemonium out there! So many sick, so many dying, I felt like I'd become a number. A statistic? Yeah, okay. Your breathing is absolutely terrible, it's worse than mine. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life, chasing the shadows to think about death. Okay, I'm feeling weak. Oh, so weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. Not sure going to sleep when you can barely breathe is the smartest idea in the world. But if that's how you feel, off to sleep you go. Oh, we're up on our feet. We're awake. What a wonderful day to be alive. I'm up. How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Okay. Walk around using the surroundings and clicking on the tickets of the world. Okay, here we go. What have we got then? My bed. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get off of it? Who came in and made it? Mm. Rest of the room looks neat too. This recently vacated. I'm dead! I've died! I went to sleep and never woke up! I woke up dead! We woke up dead. Chairs for visitors. Except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Yeah. And the fact that I have no friends to visit me. So, sad day. Sad day it is. It's silent. I remember the doctor's nurse who hooked me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. Oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital, all the machines whose purpose you don't know exactly that. Which is why hospitals are terrifying because you never know what they're hooking you up to. Or, for that fact, even pumping into you. Bathroom door appears to be locked. Well, why? What if I need to use it? Da, 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 there's a door in. Ah! Who was that? That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Yes! Let's find out! We're off an adventure in the hospital. Well, I check that these corridors are full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients, yeah? She had an arm off, I'm telling you. She had an arm off. Let's bash her in with a fire extinguisher. There are no signs. I can swear there were signs beside these doors. Can't... Yeah, you're definitely dead. Yep. Yeah. You have definitely died. I'm sorry to tell you, but you have not made it. You went to sleep, woke up dead. Yep. 
I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Yeah, well, they're not there now, are they? I, I know it's locked! Oh, this one. Sealed, just like the others. Okay. Oh, the doors are locked. Brilliant. So we are stuck in a hospital. When I checked in here, struggling to breathe, there were two hurried, but kindly nurses sitting behind a desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients to their doom. Yeah. They sure had their hands full. Yeah, well, if you've not been able to breathe and pass it out every two minutes, causing nuisance, I'm not surprised. No luck. You can't leave this way, no? Should probably find another way out. Why? No, mate! Come on now! It's that creepy girl again! She's got an arm off, I'm telling you! Ah, oh, so this door is open now. Brilliant! Yep, yeah. yep, yeah, I thought so. Yep, yeah. we're just gonna follow the creepy girl. Wandering around the empty hospital, yeah? Yeah, can't wait. Oh, there's more locked doors. Yep, shut. Cannot go into any of the rooms. There's only one way. Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone. A nurse, a doctor. Who can help me and tell me what's going on in this place? Somebody give me a sign. Nope. I don't know why. I'm... Oh, no, 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 no. No one on the other side of this door. Let's have a look. Hello! Oh. I think you've had an accident. I think. Nurse! Nurse, I think they had an accident. You didn't help them in time. Guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed, though, they? Wow! <laughs> Come on now! What is wrong with you? What is actually wrong with you? Why, why, why would you do that? Oh, she's back. She's, I, I suddenly need to talk. Maybe I should just go on here. Like, just add to the stay. It's not a problem, is it? The figure I saw on the TV, it reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lies in some kind of coma. Or maybe you are dead. Maybe. Just maybe. Why have I, why have I got a limp? Where's my legs? I've got a limp. Ah! Got a bit of turning action in here now, eh? Oh, jeez, get out of here, girl! Don't even start with me! Do not... Now we're going back. We, we, ain't, we ain't playing your games, girl! Yeah, we can't go back. We've got to follow the creepy girl. Why? Yes, yeah, shock. Locked. I will bash your head in with this fire extinguisher. I will, I will knock your teeth down your throat. It's getting worse. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm trying these doors. Oh, this one's open. Look. Oh, there's someone in there. Oh, they're dead. Oh, why, why do I feel the urge to go in here? Let's go. Let's go. Get cheaper. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares who locked the door? We didn't want to go in there in the first place, did we? Crazy woman. Am I being led? That figure I saw. What are you doing, girl? Why can't we just kick a door in? Kick a door in and jump out the window. I've got shivers. I've actually got sh This is terrifying. Look, the seats are all upside down and all sorts now. She's smashing up the place. Oh, wow! Oh, please. 
Please stop. Please, please stop. Please stop that. Please stop it. Oh my man. What way is this place? How? How did I get here? I recognise this place, the furniture, and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live, except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. Well, you've teleported into the future, my love. There's something on the table there. Let's go get it. Why, <laughs> please? What are you doing, girl? No, 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 no. Can't be. Can't be who? Can't be who? Who is it? How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. This is a real object. Nia! Is that you? Nia! This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Did I have saved her life? Had I done things differently? And at what cost? What cost? I couldn't save you, Nia. Uh, uh, we'll go with that one. I couldn't save you. I couldn't do it. I don't know how, what happened, but I couldn't have done any better. I promise. I promise you. What did she? Oh wow! Yo, you have got problems. Yeah, but or is this some fever dream seeded by my past while my body lies wasting away on hospital bed? No, this is this is you passing over to the other side. Leah, we are taken out by the beach just after yet another bit of fight. Well, you clearly weren't great friends, were you? But by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, or violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixing stares, and an obsession of my whereabouts. Self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And then it got worse. A lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed. Now, that is creepy. That I could not deal with that. Staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. She's gone mad. She's lost her head. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, it was a knife or a gun or something to kill me with. Hammer, maybe. Oh, brilliant. The hospital has gone to ruins. This, what is this place? This is the hospital after the apocalypse. I don't, know, I don't know why I keep trying these doors. Might as well give it a go. Might be a way out. That's a dead body. If you get up, if you move, we're going to have serious problems. Please don't move. Please don't move. Please don't. Please, please, please don't move. Please. Who would have had a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. Yes, we should, but we've got to try this door. We have to try the door. Please, please stay. Please stay. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Please stay. Don't move. Doesn't budge. Ah, oh, brilliant. So we've got to go back this way now, have we? What's going on? Gamma! She's doing this. I don't know how. She's toying with me. I must find a way out of this nightmare. Please, please stop this. Woman! Will you please stop this? Oh, brilliant. A room full of dead people. I love a room full of dead people. Couldn't think of anything better. Let me check you out. Look, you look, you look. Whoa! You don't look so bad. I mean, you look, you look like you've... I had a shotgun to the chest, mate, but it's not funny, girl! Go away! Got the turnages up in here again! Oh my god, this place is horrific! Yeah, we'll, we'll give the door another go. Just give it, just give it another nudge. Oh, bitch, get out of here! On a night 
four years ago when I woke up to find her standing over me. She was holding on up. I, I told you. I told you. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Oh. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped to her, grappled the blade away and subdued her until the authorities arrived. They put her away in the institute, a mental hospital, and a week later, I got that terrible call. What, she escaped? She's coming for you. All right, so she went in this room. Do we really want to open the door? Ah! Oh dear! Yeah, oh god. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note. Your last words. Whoa! <laughs> what do you want from me, dear? I did what I could! I did what I could! Why are you tormenting me? Oh, please, please, please! No! Leah, what do you want from me? I think that note you left, the last words you ever wrote. No, please! Ah! I'm never going to let you go. I know these words weren't meant for me. This is what this is about. I don't think that perhaps be more compassionate, you might still be alive. Please don't. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Ah! Oh my god. Oh wow. You telling me that was a dream? What is wrong with you? What kind of dreams do you have? Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh no no, are we are we are we alive? I'm getting out of here. Yes, yes we do. Just get out, go. Wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt, or am I dead? And this is my afterlife. These dread halls and a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity. Just go! Get out! Whoa man! There you go guys, that was the horror game, The Hospital. Uh, that game was absolutely terrifying, but I really enjoyed it. It was a great storyline, full of absolutely horrific jump scares. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you back here for the next one. Let's have it!